So I just really briefly want to tell you a little bit about Exceed, uh, or about Nix and Exceed. So of course, uh, the National Institute for Computational Sciences is here on the, uh, at the University of Tennessee. Uh, we're an NSF center, one of the major partners within Exceed, which is the Ex extreme science and engineering discovery environment. Uh, we ran Kraken, and we currently run Darter, Beacon, and Nautilus. Uh, we've had, we have all sorts of disciplines that we work with. One of the ones that's uh, growing massively uh, and isn't necessarily shown on here as how massively it's growing, but is data sciences. Uh, doing a lot more of that now, especially with uh, our big shared memory machine like Nautilus, which has a thousand cores on it. So again, we're growing our data sciences. We're trying to collaborate more with industry. And uh, we still supply the NSF cycles through Darter, Beacon, and Nautilus. Uh, this is the basic specs of our Nautilus machine, which is a slightly older machine, but still pretty hardcore. It does have 1,024 cores with uh, four, 4 terabytes of total memory. Uh, so that's a nice shared memory resource for those of you out there doing data science. Uh, we also have Darter, which is more of a traditional Cray supercomputer, uh, and Beacon, which is an Intel Xeon 5-based uh, machine. Uh, NSF sponsored Exceed in uh, 2012, a five-year project with five-year follow-on. Um, and so currently the way Exceed works is we're kind of the clearinghouse for all things allocation, training, access, documentation. The centers each run their own machines. Uh, we do have lots and lots and lots of uh, users, probably up in the order of 10,000 users on Exceed. And uh, we also have a lot of training options. That's my job. I'm the manager of training. So uh, we want to make sure that if you're interested in using Exceed resources to teach your class, there's a website that you can go to to get an allocation on any of the Exceed resources. That includes things like Stampede, some of these really large machines. Um, you can also uh, do a startup allocation if you are not teaching a class, but you just want to see how your research scales. Um, you can also talk to a campus champion on your campus, and this is where you can go find out who that is. Uh, and, of course, if you're really ready to go to the big time and swing for the fences, we have research allocations where we give away, you know, millions of uh, service units. Uh, last thing I want to say is, again, we have, uh, when you use the user portal, which we will be asking you to register through if you want to come to the follow-on for this uh, training, um, in there, of course, you have user guides. We have Globus for, for really good uh, file transfer, storage facilities. You can search all the software that Exceed provides. We also have training. We have lots of courses like this that are live and, and, and simulcast. We have asynchronous modules on just about everything. Uh, and then, of course, you can look at the course calendar for some of the things that are coming up. UT is usually a host site. Um, and, of course, you can also get uh, extra help known as extended collaborative support for your project through Exceed. So that's all I wanted to say. We are starting a badging process, so uh, we have certain courses now you can get certified in, and we're growing those uh, every day. So thanks for having us. And with that, I'll turn it over to Drew. Drew Schmidt is a computational scientist at Nix. Uh, he is our data analytics guru. Uh, he has a mathematics background, and um, uh, he is going to be talking today about how we can use R for HPC. So without further ado, hand it over to Drew. Thank you much.